Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. <laughs> and welcome to the living room. I am Oaken. And I'm Kane. And uh, today we're going to do a pocket dump for you guys. Uh, but also, if you stick around to the end of, it, uh, end of the video, we've got uh, a couple sneak previews on some knives that are uh, new to us that are going to be um, premiering on the channel here soon. Um, so, uh, yeah, Kane, what did you carry today, man? Let's get some of the, the boring stuff out of the way. Yeah, boring stuff. Same. I haven't changed my wallet yet. Uh, I do have a new wallet coming, so that'll be different soon. Chapstick and man, of course, you always need that. Um, I carried some headphones today. had a lot of work to do, so use that, as well as my Sharp ES gel pen, because I was writing a lot of notes. It wasn't as easy to write with a smaller pocket pen. So carried that today, and and then we'll go ahead and, and uh, do my my boring stuff. Yeah. Clear it all uh, all out of the way, and then get some good stuff. Just yeah. That, oh, yeah, leave, yeah, that, yeah. Leave, leave that goodness there okay. for now. Um. So for me, some of the uh, stuff that just really doesn't change too much, the uh, Dweeble bifold there, a uh, mini bic, uh, my keys with the Rovivon and my house key because switching cars a lot. The vanilla bean. Oh, I mean. Sorry. All right, so it's just not made to happen. <laughs> so uh, the uh, Burt's Bees vanilla bean, and then of course the uh, pocket pin here with the blue insert. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the some of the more boring stuff. We're gonna clear this out of the way and uh, really show some of the so the goodies we know you're really here for. Uh, so. Uh, Secondary and primary knife. What would you have? So, actually carried the Microtech LUDT today because I was wearing some OD green. I have to pull out the OD green um, Microtech. Obviously, I mean there's just no other choice. Unfortunately, uh, love this guy. What else did I did I carry another? I did not carry another knife today. Let me... Yes, I did, actually. I carried my Ruck. I had that in the other pocket, actually. My fifth pocket. So that's a nice pairing. The OD Green with the Brass Ruck and the Brass Bead. Love this guy. This really I almost have every single day, no matter what other knife I'm carrying. It's hard to beat. Giltek, my personal request to you. I want a brass bottom, copper top. Please make oh, it happen. Yeah. Please make it happen. The brass assed copper topper. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, I, uh, I I typically carry a, a few knives. Um, so uh, for me, I had the uh, Spyderco Ladybug in Vutoku 2. Uh, pretty much always carry that. Um, also, my Ruck, uh, the uh, green aluminum variant there. And then my knife of choice today was the beautiful Spy Opera from Spyderco and Lion Steel. So a uh, great little uh, selection of goodies there. Um, but we've got a couple little sneak previews that you guys uh, might not know about. And let's, uh, let's show them off. So uh, a couple knives that uh, just came to us. Um, the uh, Civivi Fracture here. And the Civivi Odium. So those are relatively new to the channel. We did actually just put out a uh, um, overview, uh, kind of quick little uh, initial impressions video on these two. Uh, but but wait, there's more. Um, <laughs> but the uh, QSP Platypus here, Platypus, the old Platypus, uh, which I do have to say, guys, a lot of the pictures don't show it. Love that backspacer. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. But the uh, QSP platypus there. And then the Canis from Canis. Spyderco as well. Canis. 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 Uran uh. I like Canis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, this is uh, definitely got a... a <laughs> Very much so uh, impressed with this guy. Uh, but yeah, just a quick little sneak preview of, of some stuff. Um, but oh. uh, beyond just knives, we also, we're going to clear the space out a tad bit. Scoot these guys over because we have something else that uh, I think, I, I personally think is awesome. 
So found this on Instagram. Goes by Zero Feud. We obviously prefer Family Feud in the living room, but Zero Feud and he makes custom lanyard beads. Look at that little guy. So we have a brass Lego man head with the COVID mask. How appropriate for 2020 in this crappy year. So this is gonna obviously look great with anything else that is brass. I have something in mind for this one um, coming up soon in the channel. So gonna make that really look good and a little nice memento um, for the year 2020. Any sneak peek of what it could be? Okay, all right, yeah. Maybe some brass scales or something. Uh, but that's coming up. You should check this guy out, Zero Feud, on Instagram. I think that's his website as well. Makes awesome little beads. These come in titanium, I believe, brass, copper, um, different variations, frowny face. He also makes like small Gatorade bottles. Very cool, which we're obviously going to have to pick up for the channel, you know. Um, so more of that to come soon. Yeah, so uh, yeah, once again, guys, we're just... Oh, one other thing. We should really prepare a little bit better. Another thing that's relatively new uh, is this uh, WowTech W1. Um, we haven't had a video on that recently uh, or, or, or yet, um, but uh, but yeah, there's going to be some more information on that. We're also going to have a um, Living Room Brawl series mm -hmm. uh, where you're going to get to see that compared to uh, an Olight. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll by the end of the video... We feel you'll have the right tools to make uh, the the assumption of which is right for you. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, really liking it so far. And uh, yeah, honestly, really appreciate you guys coming by, checking out the living room, checking out what we've got in our pockets, what we are going to have in our pockets, and uh, just make sure and have a good day. Come back and see us. Have a good one.